Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. This is Colonel RPG as usual and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today because I came here looking for a, uh, a way to save Fletcher uh, and I'm, I'm finding it unlikelier and unlikelier than I, that I will be able to save the little guy. Um, because after all, we did, we did bring him back. But um, yeah, I came in here, we are at the press booth right now. Let me show it on the map, I can't really show it on the map. But there's nobody in here. The Robinsons are not around here, so I'll take the cat leader. I will uh, get going with the cat leader and uh, I'll steal everything I can out of this place. This guy doesn't say anything though, I don't think. Hello? I'm not talking to you, I need to talk to Mr. Manor. Yeah. Okay, so Mr. Manners. Let's open this thing, because I can open that thing. Is he gonna say anything? I don't think so. I don't think so, but yeah, the, everybody's left, because Mr. Manners is not here anymore. So, I couldn't get an audience with him before, but now... Oh, hi guys, can I be here? Uh, uh, let me save the game. Um, can I save the game? I can. What is that? Okay, they're gonna be pissed at me. Who's the who's this guy? Glen Goa. Who the what the hell are you doing in here? Guards! Okay, it's bad news. Uh uh Okay, so that guy's melee, these guys are not. Very much not. Are you ser are you seriously gonna be like that? Can I take mm. Okay, we're in for some beating, I guess. What the hell is wrong? That was a 100% chance to hit right there, wasn't it? I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was a 100% chance to hit right there, and she still missed. How can I avoid these guys? Okay. The, th the big question is, if I kill them, will everybody outside turn against me? I hope not, but what I'll do instead is I'll just have everybody stand, stay back here. Uh, like so. I think that's a good idea. And I will send Aza Hell alone, because she's a tough girl. She can take these guys, especially that little asshole. And there we go. So everybody, there we go. And they can't attack her. Well, not from there anyway. And from back here, I definitely can attack him. What's the likelihood of hitting? 81%. Okay, so I was missing because I was a dumbass. There you go. See, that's what you get. That's what you get for being a nest clown as yours yourself. There you go. So who the hell? That's Glen Goa. Yeah. That's a miss. That's not a miss, but 26 damage, pretty good. Was it against Francis? Yeah, that's power armor working right there. Power armor working. So, yeah, that was not the best position for, for her, but whatever. It's fine, I can take the, a couple of shots here. Uh, switch fire mode, please hit both. There you go, good girl. Good girl. Okay, so you, uh, you want to go ahead and kill her. There you go, and move away. Step away from the body. You didn't lose your mind. So he lost his face in life. That's Attention good. all citizens. Screams have been heard in the vicinity Crap. of the press booth. We believe the rangers are attacking citizens. Keep your distance from them and let civility enforcers handle the situation. Okay, they know we're they know we are killing people. They, how they know it, it's us? I wouldn't know what at, what is this? The radio, okay, could this be the radio? The radio's out of, okay, so this is the radio, I think. Can't really use it right now. I could try that, not really in for that. What I'm doing, what I'm in for, is trying to figure out if this will lead us anywhere. There are roaches in here, though. Uh, don't like that. Kill it. Jesus, why didn't you attack? The roach is gonna be pissed. Damn it! They're gonna contaminate everybody. Yeah, they have. Don't they have disease or something? Let's see if I can shoot her in the face. 91% chance to hit. That was pretty good. Go ahead and shoot again. There you go. Is it alone? It is. Everybody reload your weapons. You switch that one. And I think I am good. Let's see. Roach. Go into my inventory. I'm trying to figure out. Just trying to figure out if I will be able to find anything. Probably not. But if this leads somewhere else, I might come from that side because have we been here before we have been here before oh wait a minute was this blocked before was it oh did i miss this do i want to go there even i don't think so yeah this, this is a dead end right here it is a dead end so let's reload our quick save right there 
before... Yeah, I, I thought... Okay. I really don't want Fletcher to die, though. Uh... Was it the restroom or... So, these guys don't like us at all. So, let's not even mess around with them. Uh, we have stuff to do out here besides. So it's okay. Um, oh, boy. Is Fletcher gonna die? Well, better, better him than me, but... I mean, these guys are crazy. A lot of people are gonna die either way, because we're gonna... Yeah, this is not gonna go well for anybody involved. Oh! <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, boy. Oh, um, boy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's locked up himself. Um, so, I... Uh, yeah, Lindu, uh, Lindy Lou sent us to uh, get some ventilator, ventilator parts. So she recruited you as a, goss, a gopher. Huh. Well... It is actually is awfully civil of you to assist her. We got her request and we're just waiting for her to come pick up them up. Here we go. Thank you, kindly gentle assistant. We normally use the cards to transport heavy mer merchandise, but you look so strong that I think you'll be fine. Well, hopefully I will. Let me see if you have gloves. That is not a glove. He doesn't have gloves. He doesn't have gloves. Of course he doesn't. Let's sell all my junk. And uh, there are no, lo no gloves. I don't remember seeing gloves. How the hell would I find gloves with a guy? Oh no. Yeah, we're overburdened. Of course we are. Can you move that? Uh, that is quite heavy, but not as heavy as it could be. Yeah, 15 pounds. Not that much. Yeah, why would you use a cart for that? 15 pounds is not that much. You can carry that. Especially being a, 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 a fan. It's pretty easy to carry one of those, I think. Big or small. I mean, the weight is not really the issue. Size would be, but I mean, it's. I find it's hard to transport th bulky things like, I don't know, a box, like, I don't know, like a big, uh, a big plank. That's stuff to carry. But a big, uh, like a, an iron? Not really. That's fine. Let's have a chatty with Lindley Lou over here. Yes, I have. I have your stuff. Why, thanks, sweetheart. I think I owe you a little token of my appreciation. Arrivederci, strangers. Arrivederci to you as well. I'm not sure what that means. I know what well, I know what it means. I'm not sure where it comes from. Um, so yeah, it's, it sounds Italian to me, but I don't know the words. Oh, Rodia ticket. What? A small ticket signed by S. Dangler. Good for one entry into Rodia. What? Whatever. Right? I don't know. Um, so that is that. Where's the cafeteria? Did I miss the cap? The cafeteria is probably. Oh, Danny. Oh, she. Okay, so let's go over there. Let's go over there right now. Because we're trying to free, free Fletcher. I looked, uh, in between episodes, I looked in there, tried to speak with this guy. But no, not really. Not That doesn't happen to him. He doesn't talk. He's just saying, I don't want to buy I don't want to buy whatever you're selling or something of the sort. So we really want to avoid starting that, that uh, event right there. That's something that I really want to try and make sure it doesn't happen. Let's go back upstairs. Was it upstairs? No, it was. It was. It was. Okay, let's keep going. Let's have a chat with the uh, Eliva. Uh, what's it called? What's the name? El Elizaveta or something with a V. Elizaveta? I, I don't know. Uh, so well, she wasn't here before, though, was she? Got the cook over here. Did I talk with him already? I think I have. Welcome to the Angels Cafeteria. Food is served in the afternoon and evening. At least is it is when uh, the folks on the farm do their job and my equipment's working. What's wrong with your equipment? Ah, uh, it's fine. Salvage teams always bring back parts I need when the stove is on a fridge breaks. Well, usually. What kind of parts are hard to come by? As often as you see broken toasters just laying around the waist, you never find any dang heating elements. Mr. Manners like this, likes his toast just so. And since my toaster's heating element is worn, I, can just, I can't just get it right. He's a picture of calm, but I can tell he's getting rifled. So tell us about the farm. Oh, it's right down on the floor of the angel. Grows all kinds of stuff. Tomatoes, beans, potatoes, lettuce, peas, soybeans and for protein. What kind of food do you serve? We'll generally strict veg vegetarians here, but order of uh, by order of Mr. Manners. But the farm grows a wide variety of veggies, so we don't get bothered. Uh, there's also good clean water. And once a month, there's the courtesy wheat. Uh, courtesy wheat? Meat. Courtesy meat for protein. What's courtesy meat? You'll have to ask Mr. Manners about that. I just cook it. Protein is protein, friend. It all winds up in the same place. You know what I mean? Uh, why, why do I get the feeling you're talking about human meat here? 
What? You're telling me you've never tried it before? It's no big deal, it's just kind of like big. You gotta cook it for a while to get rid of the sting stringiness, though. Makes me wish uh, we had fatter people. Say, you want seconds? Nah. Where do you get your water? We collect our own, and the climate's good enough here that we don't have to ration it. Help yourself. What do you think about Mr. Manners? Mr. Manners has a real good, uh, has been a real godsend. Sent me, uh, set me up in the cafeteria, gave me the run of the place. I've never felt more, uh, more useful. Any special rules in the cafeteria? Other than polite tables manners? Well, just the sitting rules. Over there's where, where muckety mucks eat, and over here's for everyone else. You should go sit in the good spots. <laughs> We're looking for cat leader. Uh, I don't know why you'd want it, but I know Mr. Manners has a lot of it for its cats. Well, for for a change, somebody replies correctly to that question. I don't know why you'd want that, but here's where you can get it. Yeah, didn't I steal that already? Just, yeah, I have that. I have enough of that, uh, so we could go back and not care about Fletcher. But I'm looking for Elisaveta, whatever her name is. I'm also... So what are these? Uh. Hmm. Let's go to the hospital. Maybe they're gonna be able to fix me up. Because I haven't gone in there when I got the chance. Because I was... Let me position myself a little bit better in my seat. I didn't come in here. That's the wrong key right there. This is the key that I want. Always press the Z or the Z. Nurse Flinkman. I'd love to talk to you, gentle ranger. But unless you need something from our pharmacy or until you're occupying one of those beds, I'm afraid I can only give you a moment. Why are, they, or why are there so many people in your beds? I have the feeling your presence here means we're going to see even more beds filled. The Robinsons and Manorites don't get along well at the best of times, and we seem to have the need to show off to visitors. Who are the Manorites? They're good people, if, you say, if I say so myself. Maybe too polite for our own good sometimes. Make people think we were pushovers. It's always a real surprise for them when they find out we're not. Yeah, it, it is a big surprise, but it's not. The thing is not you're not pushovers. I think you're absolutely batshit crazy. So, what do you think about the Robinsons? I might be biased, but the followers of Tory Robinson don't seem to want to get along. They want to go to get ahead, but that doesn't work here, and they're stepping on a lot of toes. Be careful around them. So tell us about the pharmacy. If you need to buy medical supplies, we're open to trade. If you're willing to sell supplies, that is always appreciated. I'm also willing to, buy, to pay a premium for certain ingredients. What kind of ingredients? I make most of my meds out of badger tail, roach abdomen, frog eyes, and lizard eggs. So depending on the condition of the specimen, I'm willing to pay quite a premium. Premium. Okay, let's trade. I think I, so I just sold all of that. I don't have badger tail or anything. Uh, yeah, probably not. I'm just taking a look. Do you want a dildo? I can sell you that. You could need, you could use one, right? I don't know. Anyway, uh, um, so yeah, I got plenty of stuff to sell, but I'm gonna try and do it off camera because you know, weighing in all, all choices and all that takes quite a bit, and I would spend like an, an episode doing that. And uh, yeah, so we're looking for cat leader. Got any? Oh, you wanted it for uh, again? No, I wanted to eat it. I like to eat it. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna say the same thing. <laughs> Gitling has been released. I'm glad to hear it, Rangers. I knew he wasn't a bad kid. Yeah. I... She doesn't go beyond that. So... Oh, you found... Oh, I have the medical supplies. Nice. Oh, you found them. Thanks. We're always short, so it's a great help. It's not much, but please take this small recompense for all your efforts. Okay. 150 scrap, and I lost her supplies, which is okay. She doesn't heal me, though. That's kind of a bad thing, but that guy does. That guy does. This guy, who's the who the hell are you? Sam, I remember you, don't I? Yeah, yeah, he's the guy that we uh, took care for. What do you want? Are we are you here to tell me Jonathan confessed? Oh, the case is closed. The real thief was a man called Runion. Gitlin's reputation is restored. What? God damn it! This isn't fair. Nothing ever goes my way. Oh, I remember. Okay, so yeah, I know his name because that was um, Gitlin, the guy that we fixed up the reputation for. Uh, he will, he punched this guy, <laughs> yeah, and he, yeah, apparently he's not very happy with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wouldn't be. He said it wasn't a fair fight, so anyway, drop him like a bad habit next time. Hopefully you do, man. Hopefully for you. Just show him who's Matt O's boss around here. Uh, let's see, we got some Robinsons. We got the Gooch. Hi, Gooch. Are you feeling better? Man, I I wasn't expecting to see this guy around here. Told you not to tell on me. Th did you? 
Good thing you brought him in. He was sick. Oh, he was. He is he not already? That's good. Good work, man. Got a lucky shot. That's all. Oh, that guy is talking, but this guy is not gonna say anything. Uh, hey, doctor. Welcome, gentle wounded, to the wasp to the hospital. Do you require care? Yes, I do. Do you provide medical care? You're in luck. We provide the best quality care for our patients. They are mostly hurt by mutant plants, giant roaches, farm accidents, and occasionally gunfire. When someone forgets to be civil. For non-residents, the treatment is only 20 scrap. Would you like to use our services? Yes, I would. That's a lot of that's very cheap right there. Very, very cheap. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna use it to my health, my newfound health, to kill all your Denizens, not denizens, I mean co-citizens, I don't know, anyway, um, what do you know about being civil? That sounds a bit rude of me, what do you know about being civil, you dirty old doctor? Well, many of my patients are here because they couldn't remain civil, lack of civility means blood and bullets, I guess politeness takes a while to learn. Tell us about the farm. They put a lot of hard work into it, and it's really doing well, but somehow these people managed to cut themselves or stab themselves or, you see that guy over the end, over there, over there? I had to pull a corn cob out of his rear. Yeah, that. Um, mm -hmm. What do you know about the roaches? A misguided soul believed that breeding roaches would help provide us with steady source of protein. That is one of the reasons we all became vegetarians. Sadly, the offspring, the offspring of these roaches, have been growing and changing down in the street steam tunnels, and it's getting steadily more dangerous down there. So, the manorites don't eat meat. Uh. Only on certain special occasions. They call it courtesy meat. It's um, not to my taste, no matter how clever the cook is disguising in it. So, yeah, I don't need it. I, I wish none of them would. Something's fishy going on. Tell us, or what we do to you won't be your taste either. Okay, look. The people here have a tradition. But it's one I don't find medically advisable. If it doesn't stop, there are going to be a lot of more cases of madman disease in the angel. Isn't that mad cow disease? Uh, anyway, probably the same thing. Madman disease in the angel soon. Yeah, if you eat human flesh, you kind of get that. Uh, what is the madman disease? It's a brain parasite that's transmitted by eating infected flesh. It doesn't always take, uh, but when it does, oh boy. And it can live in human nervous systems. Does that mean people are eating other humans? Well, you can add two and two, I'll give you that. Why would people eat something that can transmit disease? The, well, they're batshit crazy, as I've, as I've been saying all along. Not all along, after I found out that they are indeed crazy. The problem is that people don't listen to their doctors, they listen to their leaders, and in this case, their leader made eating human flesh a sacrament. Until Mr. Manners stops eating it, nobody else will. Of course, if someone here were to, say, destroy the cooling systems for the, meter, the meat locker in the cafeteria, not that I'm suggesting anything, though. Oh, I, I saw those. Oh, maybe I could do that. Hmm... Well, not sure how that's gonna help fix Fletcher, but I will... Well, if I need to kill everybody around here, I would rather do all the quests before that, because I'm gonna gain the experience. Uh, what if we could get Mr. Manners to stop eating courtesy meat? Oh, if you could do that, you'd be saving the mental health of the wall angel. None of them, huh? Not... Wait a minute, what's that? What, where did you say none? When did you say none? I, I don't follow the, the dialogue line. Yeah, okay, so I wish none of them would eat things. None of them, hmm. Listen, speaking as one doctor to another, is there something wrong with it? Yes, on so many levels. But morality aside, it's killing them. If they don't stop, we're going to see a lot more disease, more cases of madman disease. Okay, how can we get hurt by a plant? Have you seen those giant to tomatoes? Do you know what happens when something like that falls on your head? Yeah. I imagine got a huge burp right there. Sorry, I apologize. Um, what can you tell us about your patients? We've, well, we've... Uh, Got some very interesting cases here, the usual gunshot, stabbing, and accidents, but then we've also got the polydactyl syphilis from Watts. Let me tell you, the stuff is real treat to, uh, mm, to treat. <laughs> polydactyl syphilis, what the hell does that even mean? Blech. Anyway, do you provide medical care? I, I know. So we're looking for cat leader, got any? We don't keep it here in the hospital, but if I ever need it for radiation cases, shut up. <laughs> can you, oh, can you borrow your microscope? You mean take it out of the Colosseum? Why? What do you need it for? Uh, th uh, we need to cure a plague in Rhodia. A plague in Rhodia? Wait a minute, are you going to give my microscope to those thieving assholes? Or ch to that, that, that thieving asshole or Chata? No way, I'll die first. So you let people die of a plague despite an enemy. Damn right I will, I... No, no, I... 
I can't, can I? I'm a doctor. We gotta put that that first. But you better bring it back. Uh, what do you know about Orchada? He was a good doctor, I'll give him that, but being civil always seemed to, to grate on him. One morning we woke up and he was gone. His loss was a shame, but the supplies he stole were the real blow. If you happen to see him, I think it would be polite to punch him in the face and bring it all back. He's living in Rhodia, by the way. What do you know about Rhodia? It's a farming community. I know, I've been there. Um, so, what supplies did he take? I might bring a few back. Some syringes, bandages, a whole bunch of pharmaceuticals. We've managed to rebuild some of our supply, but we can always use more ingredients to help restock our pharmacy. I know where the pharmacy is. Yeah, it's right over there, along the wall. What ingredients do you need? We need badger tail, roach abdomen, frog eyes, and lizard eggs. Do you have uh, Do you have some you'd be willing to sell? If so, tell it, take it to the pharmacy. Okay, yeah, we found a sick hobo outside the gate. That's what I was trying to tell you at the beginning. But, uh, yeah, what about him? Yes, I've seen him. Very sad. He was once our sheriff, Rob Gooch. But he started to go crazy a while back. In one of uh, his lucid moments, I was able to take some samples from him. He's got a rare brain disease. I suspect it's from eating human flesh. I call it madman disease. There's, um, no cure. This is why I'm a vegetarian. Yeah. There's no cure for mad cow disease? Yeah, it probably isn't. It's, if it's a parasite. I mean, if it's a par, why would there be no cure? Parasites are... Are parasites that hard to cure? Well, I'm not a doctor. I, I wouldn't know. Anyway, uh... So he left because he couldn't... Uh, he's talking about... Uh, he's talking about Dr. Orchada. He left he, if he... Left because he couldn't be civil? Was that the only reason? Well, he just couldn't stop swearing, and Mr. Manners didn't like it. Said he had a terrible bad side manner. Got to a point where Chad could see the writing on the wall. He realized Mr. Manners were going to make an example out of him, just like Fletcher. I don't blame him for leaving, but he shouldn't have stolen our supplies. Yeah, well, whatever. You guys are crazy. Your guys are all crazy. Well, me, you don't seem that crazy. I don't. I really don't want to kill all these guys because they. Most of them seem pretty innocent to me. It's the the higher ups that are the the problem here. So let's see what I can do here. Can I take your stuff? Because I will steal your supplies. I'm not one of yours. Uh, well, I'll steal those. Whatever. I don't know who those are, but fine. I'll take those as well. Thank you very much. I leveled up as well. Very cool. Let's see if I can take that without anybody noticing. Probably can. Yes, I can. Nobody sees. Nobody minds. Let's get out of here. Let's also call... Copy, Rain. Congratulations. There you go. Call for the level up right there for Dr. Thomas. Not really a doctor. Is he a doctor, though? I think he has the skill points. Right? Yes, he is. Dr. Thomas. Should, is it Thomas or Thomas? Is this, I know it's the TH, but you know it's not always that, that simple. Not always that simple. So we have only another place to visit. Only another place to, place to visit. So I could do... Okay, you want to move to Rhodia? Don't go there before I can fix that plague. Uh, so I want to do I want to do this, but people here are probably not gonna like that. So let's save the game. So I need to disable the alarm. Twenty seven percent chance is kind of terrible. Nobody sees me though. I don't think we gotta re enforce her lover. If she misses, I will increase her skill. If she okay, so there we go. Let's bring her. Is it no? That's not her. That's Rose. Yeah, that's Rose. Okay. Let's bring her um, alarm disarming skill up by a little bit. There you go. Hopefully nobody will mind she's she doing that. That guy's gonna see her though. It's not looking good. I don't like this. Okay, yeah, they don't mind. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let me save the game. Okay, maybe they don't mind me using the I mean disabling the alarm. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're in. Let's destroy the fridges. However we manage to do that, I'm not sure. Okay, that one is locked for some reason. That's lovers. That's guards are all over the place. Okay, there's something over there. What is that? What is that? Oh, this is this is interesting. Okay, back there. I know there's an entrance back here. I also want to go there um, before we have to face Fletcher's fa fate. I guess. What is this? These coolant systems look old and fragile. A couple of good wax, and you can probably snap that coolant pipe right in half. So what is that? What is that? The shelves are lined with a fine selection of head, torso, leg, hand, and pelvis. Ugh. Why would you want a fine selection of pelvis? I mean, it's dead. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay, we got nothing here. And just open them and let it all cool off. Let's destroy this thing, if we can. Are they gonna mind? They're not gonna mind. They're not even gonna notice. 
We're gonna eat all the flesh all right here. Weird. With with bugs. Like, mm, more protein. More protein. Eat all the bugs. So that is that. Actually Fucking these fuckies. These guys like to say fuck a lot. These guys like to swear a lot, the Robinsons do. Um Yeah, the guy wants to go to Rodia and I wanna go back there because I wanna have a chat with the doctor and tell him that I fixed his problem with uh, human meat. Hi man. Oh. Okay. What about the nurse? Is she gonna say anything? She's not. Does she have a shotgun? She has a shotgun right there, yeah. They should have... Why? I, it's a thing that I don't really understand why they don't have more portraits. Because, I mean, I... I am not an artist. I can draw, more or less. I'm not the least the worst. I didn't go to art school. That's all I'm gonna say. So if I didn't go to art school and I did, don't practice, I don't know how to draw. But I... I come from a family of, of uh, people who like that sort of stuff and do that sort of stuff for a living, some of them even. Uh, but, um, yeah. I... If I knew how to draw, I'd be drawing all the time. And these guys, the team uh, over at In Exile Entertainment, they have a lot of artists. They have a lot of artists. Some of them are uh, famous, some of them are not famous, but all of them are pretty good. I mean, right? Well, way better than I am anyway, but I'm not an artist again. But the thing is, why don't they have more portraits? Why don't they just spend a couple of weeks of one guy drawing portraits all day long? Or, I mean, have a team assembled and, uh, like, 14 artists and one day each spend a day drawing portraits for every body, right? Okay, uh, so wasn't there an entrance back here? I don't... Apparently there isn't. So our only destination right now is the restroom. But we have been to the restroom, so that is that. That is that, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna have to face well, Fletcher is going to have to face the consequences of our choices. We convinced him to come back because otherwise Brother Thomas would have died, I think. Uh, because I'm not seeing a way to free him. So, at the risk of ending yet another episode with a gruesome death. Copy, Ranger Team Echo. Yeah, no, no shut up. I, I was, at the risk of ending yet another episode with a gruesome very gruesome death. I will try to fix this thing yet again. And uh, I won't shoot. I won't shoot. Gentlemen, are if I can you do ready? This... I'm so sorry, gentle interrupter. An execution. Mr. Fletcher so is... the same thing. We have given him many opportunities. Gentle guest. Yes, indeed. Farewell. Okay, yeah, it's the same Let thing. Let us continue. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know how to do this now. I might have to check online, try and figure out what I did wrong. If I did something wrong, I will own up to it. Especially because it's not me who pays the price for that. But I'll consider whether or not I will kill everybody and try to spare Fletcher. Because I, I think that would be an interesting thing. And I think that would be an interesting episode as well. That guy, shut up. Because it is time to end the episode. It's been a pleasure. I think we've, we've uh, completed everything there is to see in here in this... Uh, in this area, I haven't talked with Zebe over here, but yeah, whatever, they won't let me. So, I guess that's that. So, for now, I am Colonel RPG, and this has been Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching. As always, thank you so much for sticking around, for watching, and for letting me enjoy this game so much. And uh, I hope you're enjoying it as well. So, I guess I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.